Hey guys, this is Captain Rex, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our How to Build Seppies World, World Series, and today, once again, it is just me here uh, building, and today we're going to be beginning Polly's house. Now, I have a few things to show that you guys need to do uh, before we begin, but first off, I want to show some updates or uh, corrections, added on stuff, whatever you want to call it. So first off, I'll show you guys the chest up here, um, which I said I would fill. So here is what this chest has, and then that should be good. And then Aiden Okarowski, who is already in the Love Garden, brought to my attention that um, we get a better view of this snow back here on this backside. So up there was a few minor updates. I checked it all out in the video that he uh, provided. And here is um, what the updated snow look needs to look like the, there. So that's what that needs to have. And then, so uh, basically off camera, we already had this path. What you want to do is just extend this path down and then extend this path down behind the theater so that they match up right here. Because I did forget to do this in the terrain video, but it needs to be done. So just extend those paths, and now I'll show you guys the torches. So also where these diamond blocks are, torches will need to go there as well on the grass. And then that's basically filling in all the torch details on the grass. So we already had this path, but I'll just show it again. Um, just the torch overview. There needs to be another one right here, obviously, with the diamond. Then it just comes over here. There is another torch right here. This path is new down here, so these... Just like kind of follow along um, with where the torches are. I'll just go down the path here. Um, so yeah, those two are two blocks away from the path. So now let's just replace these and put our uh, torches in. And I'll, I'll give another overview in case you guys need a better look. Here, going down this path. So yeah. Because I know it is kind of complicated to do the torches on camera. It is. but So I kind of thought I'd just prepare this before the video. So then also we have this path down here. Which I'll show the torches for here. There's one like right on the side of the path right there. And then that should be good. So let's just place ours there. And then we can be ready to begin Polly's house here. So I'm not sure how long this build is going to take. It, it might take a bit just because it is a bit of a... It, it, there is some details and stuff in the build in that. But first thing, there is a little detail here that we'll add before so I don't forget. There is uh, right here on this corner, there's a flower. And then if we leave one, and then there's a grass right there. Okay, so basically we want to come down we're gonna start at the corner here because why not we're gonna leave one block away from this grass and then we're gonna put a pillar of birch going up one two three four blocks and then we want to bring this over another what is it uh nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine let me just double check that four five six that's four, yeah, nine. And then we're gonna bring up another thing to the four right here. We can kind of just fill this in. This is gonna be a little area of detail in here. And then we can go across, it should be five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna make this into a box like this. And then right down here, we're just gonna make a doorway shape right in here and we can break this out and put birch and then yeah that torch should be right here and we're gonna break out these three we're gonna replace these with oak and then we need some flowers we need a red flower and a yellow flower so just fill these in with oak flowers go right here 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 and here um, leave we're gonna leave this block empty because there is little detail in that but you can put one up there 
and then we just want to go for the rest of it one two three four five more over and then we're gonna do this and make a little box here so okay that should be good so now where these boxes are the smaller ones we're gonna be we're gonna put uh slabs on the bottom and top of each of these just like this and then we're gonna grab some trap doors and we're just gonna put these on and they go down like this so let's put these on not there and just same thing over here okay there we go and by the way in the front here we want the door is actually a birch fence gate like that um, so then back here we're gonna grab some spruce stairs where there is a bit of a pattern so basically we're gonna start with one stair like this and then it goes upside down and then like that and then just does this alternates it the the whole way down and then up here we're gonna start and do the same thing again just copying the uh bottom so yeah it is there is a bit of a technique to it but it's nothing too hard it just looks hard when you're looking at it um so right here we're gonna grab the spruce fence and a torch and then there's a little spruce fence here with the torch just for detail and there also is on this side the corner uh, let's just do that and there's one at this little intersection here yeah I, I definitely do like this design it definitely does add detail to the build and there's one right here right there okay so now we're gonna grab some pink and yellow wool so right here where we left this little indent we're gonna put pink wool here then a yellow and just surround that with pink there's a torch here and then we just want here two pink two yellow two pink and then this pattern continues down for a bit here so we want two pink two yellow two pink but it stops here because there's going to be um, a bit of a different area uh, back here so now we can grab our birch planks and there's just a solid wall and we want to bring it down till it's uh, two past this torch. That's a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And this wall right here is just solid birch all around here. And there is another torch uh, detail thing over here. So we leave four blocks. And then there's one and then of course right on the corner again there is one right there and also right back here so now what we're gonna do is we can just come along with our birch and just match this up with over here but we're not gonna fill these in because now there is a bit of a pattern to it but we can make kind of we can kind of box it in here so that's a total of four and then we can bring this across to match it up and then this across as well to match that up right there okay so we're gonna have to leave a total of four five six seven eight nine. so we want to leave nine blocks empty here one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're just gonna put a little column up like that as a divider. We're gonna need to grab some spruce stairs once again, uh, birch fences, and that should be good. So right down here, we're gonna do this that pattern again. So we'll start here with the um, right, the downstairs, I'll call this the upstairs, and then we just gotta alternate this going across this section yeah this is a I, I actually do like this build it is different than some of the other ones and it does look actually pretty good to be honest so it's definitely nice to have in your world so okay let's grab this there's one right here uh, once again so yeah there's another little detail and then down here we're gonna bring birch fences across the bottom of this and then there's some stairs on top 
for another detail and we can do our corner torches here again and then over here we want to find the middle I believe so we want to leave uh, five blocks on either side and then we're just gonna do this fence and stair uh, technique thing here so let's do this and okay so that should be kind of the bottom area of it so the next thing to do is back in here where we have this pattern after this we want to come back into with our yellow and then we want two pink and then one pink and then here we're gonna leave a gap and then do two pink one yellow two pink one yellow two pink and then this should bring us out into here so then all of this area that we have empty here we want to fill in with uh, spruce planks so let's do this so the where the gap is that's gonna be a doorway actually and the floor for that doorway is spruce so we can fill that one in as well so let's just do that so then spruce fences go all the way around this it's a little uh, porch I guess and then we're gonna grab some birch stairs and birch slabs uh, let's grab that right here and if we go in front of the yellow sections you want to leave one and then there's just a little chair like this same thing over there and I guess we can put this door in because why not there we go there's the door so now then this pattern it's just gonna extend around so we actually have a second uh, pink here and then there's two yellow two pink two yellow and then this gets a second yellow and then we're just gonna do two pink two yellow two not not a door two pink two yellow two pink two yellow two pink and now once we're lined up with this we actually want to replicate that over here so break this one out put a pink surround it with yellow and then this gets a torch on this side so it's basically just replicating that and then we can continue our pattern it should end with two pink over here and then now down here we can do two yellow two pink two yellow two pink two yellow and there's one extra pink right there so okay we're getting a lot of the outside done so now what we are going to do is the there is a bit of a weird section along the roof here but uh well let's do the actual big part of the roof so right here we want to only put three rows that are this long so this length so uh, let me just grab a block that i'll destroy not forget so let's just do three rows of stairs right here this might be a weird way of doing it i'm not sure but let's see how it goes and then for the next one it's gonna go all the way across like right to there because there is a bit of a different style in the roof I guess but so basically let's first I guess we can fill in this bottom row here and we can put stairs over here and I believe it's the same on the other side yes and then we can fill in this bottom row only to there though I think no actually this bottom row can go all the way across here let's do that for now so we have that stairs we have I mean those stairs and then we put this one in here as the second row and then we're just going to kind of put these blocks and they're gonna go like diagonally up so if we put one up here and then one up here then one up here and then one up here and then it should come to one at the top and then we can place our stairs on top of these uh, all the way across like this so let's just do that
Okay. Let's do this. And then this. But we're going to leave the top one for now. So this is going to get... Um, we can actually just fill this in. And then it's going to get some slads on top. Just like that. And we can add all these blocks and stuff down here on this side uh, as well. Um, okay, we're going to leave that for now. So over here, we're going to grab some spruce stairs. Once again, I probably could have picked block that. And then it just goes in a pattern where they just, in this gap here, they just go on top of each other, basically just like this. And then there's a torch, which goes right there. And then on this back side, uh, we can actually bring this keep bringing this down and then it comes just to or no does it N uh so we want our stairs to go three blocks past this so yeah we can just put one right there like that so then we just fill in our stairs here uh there is a torch right there and then over here we're gonna begin doing this uh there is basically down here a row of stairs go this way uh yep we're gonna need to bring this up one because the row of stairs go right here just across to where that is right there i know this is getting very weird um, and we place a block underneath that. So now what I guess we can do is we are going to fill in across here with two rows of birch planks. So let's do this filling all around here in with uh, two rows. There we go. So after we have those two rows we are going to go around with some stairs uh spruce stairs just around like this and it does go right to there yep and then on top of this we are going to wrap birch planks around this and we're gonna make this basically uh too thick so this is one over here and then two like this yup so there we go that is too thick now and then we're gonna pr bring where is it why can't I find it spruce fences around this whole gap here because it's just a little detail in the roof And then we're going to need some birch slabs. Oh no, I already have it. And then we're going to bring the birch slabs on top of this. Whoops, that's not meant to. Come on. I hate placing slabs. Like, slabs and stairs are some of the most annoying things in Minecraft. Well, they are. Um, let's, let's get these wools close together. So back over in this corner, we're going to kind of do a pattern. So we want two... Um, we're gonna kind of do a checker pattern, but it's like with two things, if you know what I mean. So then we're gonna do two yellow, two pink, two yellow, and then on top of this, all, on top of all the pink, we want yellow, and of course, on top of all the yellow, we want pink. So it kind of just goes in this sort of pattern, and then there we go. Now, there is some torches up here, it goes on all the corners of this box. So just like that, that is looking good. Um, and we do have some of those uh, torch things on these corners as well. So one goes right above the door here, like that. And then one goes in the back corner. Not this one, but it goes back in here. There's some, and then also if we leave, if we go in line with this one, there's one right here. 
So, okay, we only have a bit more detail, uh, we only have one more detail to do on the outside, actually. So, if we leave one block on either side of this, we're going to break these out. And then there's tons of spruce fence gates inside of this. Okay, so there we go. Now we should be done the outside, and we have a bit more time left that we can begin the inside okay so let's head on inside here and we have an empty room no surprise so for this we're gonna have to of course break out all the floor now there is like a basement and stuff to Polly's house but I'm going to wait to probably do that until last because it's basements are creepy and nobody likes them Anyways, uh, if you do like basements, comment down below. I don't think anybody does, but... Okay, so let's just break out all this floor, because there is multiple parts to this house. It is lots of details inside. Like, it's, it's pretty crammed with details and stuff. So, okay. So, we are going to get some birch planks in the first section we are going to do. It's going to come across here, and then we want to bring it, is it one, two, three, five blocks from the door, one, two, three, four, five. And then this can just come to the back, and then we can fill all this in. This is kind of going to be our first little room that we're going to do in here. So let's fill this in. Now, obviously, there's going to be a gap for the uh, stairs. So these last four have a gap where the stairs will go down. I'll just mark that by putting a birch stair right there. We can break some of that out. So, okay. Uh, we can build the wall, I think. So if we bring our birch planks here, a row comes across here and then there's uh, one, two, three spruce. Not I, I pick block stairs. Okay, I need spruce, not stairs. One, two, three, like that. And that will be what we do there for now. So then for some details of this room, uh, back here, we want fences going right to the edge of the stairs. There are torches here. And here, there's a doorway that goes through there. We can put that in. So we need a, a bit of a floor there with birch planks, and then we can put a door like that. And then there's an, also a door back in here, which has a floor of birch planks. Oh, we need to replace that. And it is a birch door over here. So there we go. Okay, so now we can do a bit more decorations inside this this room so let's grab some torches why can't I slash clear excuse me oh I don't have anything what I don't know what's going on there so we want a torch right here uh, there's one on the the yellow things in this room again the basically same as the outside and then this roof is going to need some touching up so basically we do not want to see any birch along where these go so basically we're just gonna bring um, a row here a row here so basically it's like flush with the uh, spruce and then on the other side I believe it's the same yes it is and then the basically when you do that that makes a, a row of two down there so that is okay if you have that so then let's just do this one and then down here we're gonna have a row of two like this and we can break that one out because we're not gonna need that um we, we can actually put pink here just to make this look nice Okay, so yeah, there is some torches up on this section. Uh, on these, this two row, there's one there and there's one there. And then also there is a little bit of a part that comes out. Is it here? 
Oh, I did this wrong. This actually needs to get cut off here. Whoops. And then the... So we cut that off, and then this row comes out two more right here. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, that one is like that. Because it goes up a level there to the next level. So, okay, let's do the table down here. Which are going to need some spruce planks, some pink and yellow carpet. We're going to need some stairs and some signs. So back in here, we want to basically, if we come to the door, well, the gate, and then if we come over to the uh, leave one right to here, we want to leave three blocks, one, two, three, and then we're going to replace a spruce. And this comes down until there's uh, three blocks left over here. And then we make this uh, doubled like that. And then there's chairs, which go uh, right on this side. There's And then there's one, two, three right here. Over there, it's on this side. It, it, it is annoying. It's not centered, but anyways, like that. And then the ones on the ends are the one that actually have the signs like this and then the carpet there's like a two by two of pink and then yellow and then another two by two of pink so okay um next we can do the chandelier i guess so we're gonna need some fences some torches some glowstone so if we come up we need to go to the top and we need to leave five blocks from the door side one two three four five then we're gonna place a fence here and we're gonna come down three more one two three and then here we're just gonna do this and then these all have torches on top like this and then there's glowstone right there so that is the chandelier pattern in here so next up we will make these the weird stairs that go up they look very weird but also they're a bit unique to the build um let's fences fences for right here so it's basically all spruce and if we leave two blocks from this door we're going to place one here and then we're going to place uh two stairs and then another block and then we go up here and then place uh, two stairs This actually just comes up to the top uh, right there And then right here, there's a little two by two landing and then we can actually bring all of this around it and Then there's two more sets of stairs like this and then we're up at the top So then we want to actually bring it right up like this and then there's fences there, there, and then around here. And then there's two right here. And then there's three right here. And there's one, two, three there. So yeah, it is a bit of a weird staircase to be honest, but I guess it works for being a staircase. Anyways, there we go. So that is the staircase all done going up there. So I guess the last thing we're gonna do, cause this is obviously gonna take multiple parts, we're gonna fill up this floor up here with spruce. So let's just do this. So in the next video, we'll see if we can finish it off. I don't know, there's still a lot of stuff. Like we gotta do this room up here where there's the bedroom and there's the living room. So all of that stuff still needs to be done. And of course we have the basement. Uh, which needs to be done as well and that has some stuff so yes but we did kind of get this main room done we did get the outside done so at least you can see it from the balcony over here so let's just get a little view oh yes it's looking pretty good so yeah thank you guys all for watching I know that was a bit more complicated one we have been doing kind of to be honest a little bit of easy stuff recently but we're getting back into some of the more complicated builds and stuff. This build is definitely complicated with all the roof stuff and that. 
but hopefully there's no problems in your guys' process of building it. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments, and I will try to respond right away. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.